I've locked myself in the barn with peanut butter and jelly making supplies, Pepsi Cola in a mini fridge, and this engine. Uh, I'm not gonna leave until I get this engine out, and you might be thinking, hmm, he's very confident, surely he's done this before. No, uh, I've never removed the engine. I don't have the repair manual because I left it at my house this morning and forgot it because I'm an idiot. Let's get to it. Now, having no idea what I'm doing, I'm gonna go based purely off the advice of a guy I talked to at a car show two years ago, where he said it's easier to just take this front clip off here, the, the whole grill section, and just suck the engine and transmission both out the front. Uh, so that's what, I'm gonna go for that and see what happens. Uh, I'm gonna stay nice and organized with some paper bags, a Sharpie, and this cool magnetic mat from SunX. As of sandwich number one, I've got the whole front off here. I'm just gonna start disconnecting stuff and hopefully the motor will just fall right out the front for me. Sandwiches two, three, and four came and went, uh, all in one sitting actually. But I did get everything disconnected, I think. Uh, hopefully I got it all, we'll find out. I went to the store and I got something that isn't as funny as it could be for this account, but that'll speed this up a lot because I just wanna get this project done. Uh, I have a surprise project this summer that I'm not gonna tell you guys about yet, but that could be really cool. So, without further ado. I'm really hoping to not have to take the hood off because that's a huge pain, so. This last sandwich is celebratory. As you can see, the engine is no longer behind me. We've got it out right there, ready to go. Um, I've been in here for a lot of hours and I've consumed half a loaf of bread. I feel good. <laughs>